So, good afternoon, everybody, and happy Valentine's Day. Um, I just wanted to come to you guys and give you all a quick just little switch around for Valentine's Day, something that you can do, once again, that's super healthy, like I'm always pushing, pressing your healthy buttons, and also that's budget conscious. Um, it's Valentine's Day, and I know that a lot of people go out and do things really big, but in our household, we just keep it simple because we love each other every day of the year and we show it every day of the year and we don't want to break the bank um, just doing Valentine's Day stuff. So I still wanted to think of something that I could do special for my honey bunny and that I, that would be fun and cute and a little bit different, budget conscious and healthy at the same time. So I really just thought about it a few hours ago. I said, hey, well, what can I do that's something that, you know, stuff that I've already kind of got laying around the house. Um, as you know, at Presto and Enterprise Incorporated, strawberries are our fruit of the month. So I've definitely got some of those laying around. And while I was out at the store earlier, I picked up a few flowers, just like a bunch that were super inexpensive, but I wanted to get all white because I wanted to stick with the white and red theme. So I'm just going to turn around and show you guys what I came up with. I found this tissue paper um, from Christmas laying around the house. Super cute, as you can see there. Um, and then also, we always, always have a vase for flowers. And I simply just opened it up and just stuffed it in and kind of like put my fist down in it to keep, get it nice and in there so we can put some stuff on the inside. So we're going to use this as our base to start off with. And then I went to the store, like I said earlier, and found some white flowers to put inside. So we're simply just going to tuck these on the inside of the vase. And as we're tucking them on the inside of the vase, we just push them in and kind of spread them out a little bit. So they're nice and cute and, and, and just something that's really beautiful for Valentine's Day. Um, then what I did was took some strawberries and put them on skewers. And um, I had skewers laying around the house from grilling time in the summer. You know, we had those laying around, so that was free for me. And I'll simply just stick these into the vase, you know. So we're really making a strawberry flower arrangement, something that's really cute for Valentine's Day, in theme with the red and the white, but also healthy because we can eat the strawberries later after dinner. And then also it's something that's good for your senses with having beautiful flowers to smell um, even after the strawberries are gone. It just kind of give you a nice little pick me up having nice flowers in the home. And we'll just continue arranging these around. You can kind of play with it and do whatever you think works and looks best for you. Um, I'm just doing kind of like four different areas since it's a really small base. And I'll show you for those of you that may be wondering, well, how do you get the strawberries on there? And I've never done anything like that before. So we're just going to show you really quick. You just kind of pair around, you know, the strawberry because you don't want to just cut it flat because if you cut it flat, um, then in that case, it doesn't really stay on the skewer and look the way that you want it to look. So we're just kind of digging out um, this part. So we can kind of toss that to the side and then we'll just have our strawberry. You see it's kind of cut out so it can sit on the skewer nicely. And I'll show you with one of the skewers that I have. You just simply push that down on there and then we have three more because I did about four on each. You know, after measuring it out, I thought that that may be the best route to go. And you just keep pushing those down and then we've got one more to go and we'll be done with this one. Um, and once we get this one on... Uh, we've got a little green on there. We want to get that off. Um, and then we'll just stick this one, you know, somewhere where it'd be nice and symmetrical, you know, so it can stay cute and arranged nicely. And there we go. You have something that's super cute, super inexpensive, super healthy. I'm really about to eat one of these strawberries, guys. And I'll just have to replace it later for my honey bunny. But that's something that I can get to give to him. We can sit on the table as we eat dinner. Um, the kids can have a skewer each. We can have a skewer each. And it'll just be super fun. So I just wanted to show that to you guys. I hope you all loved it. And I tried to post it early enough I just got back home so hopefully if you guys have some of that stuff laying around and you can kind of play with it if you don't have all those items just kind of tweak it to what you have in the house and what works for you and then you've got something for your honey buddy that's inexpensive but it looks like you went to the store and spent loads of money on it hopefully <laughs> and as usual we want to let you guys see our children's book Timmy's Yummy Tummy and His 10 10 Snacks and this is a wonderful book um, I wrote it and released it a few months ago to really help kids as it relates to getting excited about eating healthy, snacking healthy, you can get it at timmysyummytummy.com. Um, and we have aprons and all that to go with it as well. And in addition, if you're interested in my consulting um, services, you can go to Press On Enterprise. 
www.thecreativeoutlet.com and check me out. So thank you all for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed our creation today and that you continue to follow us, sign up for our newsletter, and we'll always have yummy, wonderful things for you that are healthy and inexpensive. Have an awesome Valentine's Day. Remember to press your healthy button. Bye, guys.